fish moving through this swim. Um, no, I really like it. Uh, it's a great setup. Owners are really friendly. Yeah, it just feels great to be back out on the bank. It feels like it's been forever. It hasn't. It's been six, seven weeks, did we say? Itching to get done now, get fishing and get set up, get get a rod out in the water and land that first carp. Yeah, I like it. It's very pretty, and I'm um, quite encouraged by the fact that <laughs> there is movement just um, outside our swim or in our swim. So it's all looking hopeful. Yeah, gonna have a quick cup of tea because we haven't stopped since we arrived, and then I think. Hopefully, we'll get a rod out this evening and uh, have news to report by the morning. That would be nice. out sweet to a, or fruity so I've got strawberry and then oh, they smell banana -y, like you're, you're banana gonna hate and that. pineapple which is so odd because I have almost like an allergy towards banana bloody hate the smell that I've been known to just gag just talking about it <laughs> Nothing to, to report from last night. I'm a bit surprised we didn't have any anything, because we certainly are on the button. Yeah, lots of lots of fizzing all over really this morning. There, but you know, right on the top of, of where we've placed the rods. Yeah, I think it's just a matter of time now. It, it, yeah, it's renowned for being not an easy lake. In fact, one of the first things the boat owner said to me was, "It's not an easy lake." <laughs> so. Um, but yeah, I am a bit surprised we've not had anything, haven't you? Well, I'm not, if I'm honest, because yesterday, like I was, I was saying to you this morning, there was so much activity on the water. We had everyone who was on the other side of the lake packing up and going home. So a lot of movement in the water. And then you were out in the boat. Marker rods were out. Yeah, placing our rods. Markers. You know, yeah, there was so. a lot of disturbance, I think, on the water to have expected a bite. I'm more hopeful for today now that everyone else has gone home, we're here alone. We've got a bit of sunshine as well, so hopefully... I'm, apart from one of my rods, I'm not planning on, on moving the other two. I don't know about you. No, I think I'm going to leave my rods, but just maybe scatter some more bait out today. But not till later this afternoon, I don't think. Well, around midday. There's quite a lot of warmth in the sun right now, but um, I think we're expecting rain tomorrow. But they say it fishes really well when it rains. So, as much as we don't really want the rain, we might need the rain.
Tony. What have we got then? Well, just had a screaming run. Can't really see what <laughs> I'm connected into right now. But she's given us a bit of a welly. Otis is coming over to see. <laughs> Ziggy. Well, I'm joining this. Uh, kind of small and scrappy is what it feels like. But it's really hard to see. Can anybody else see it? I thought it was right there in front of you a second ago. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. It certainly looked... Yeah, there it is. There it is. Oh, actually, what is it? What is it? Marble. Like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And... It's a bowl. <laughs> it's a bubble. Whoa. I don't think you've ever caught barbels in there before. I've not ever had a barbel in the lake out of a lake before. Three, four pound, <laughs> five pound. What do you reckon? You know more about barbel than me. Four pound. Four pound. Four yeah. pound. Yeah. Yeah, four pound. Yeah. One of the most difficult fish in the lake. Foi a cana. Não foi da esquerda. Foi ali do fundo. Oh, five. <coughs> five? Five? Yeah. <laughs> just, just do it off the hand. Yeah. You have a feel. I reckon about five pounds. Yeah. Yeah, they, 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 they can... Um, they can... Uh, they can do... Uh, get you wrong. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to wait it. Wait-wise? I think... Four five four five. You are not. You are not. No far off. Yeah. Yeah. They always have the marks because they all move in the bottom of the lake. But it's one of the most difficult fish in the lake. But now it's winter. She's beautiful. Off the mark. Not what we want, but you're off the mark. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a bit of a Michelin man. <laughs> well, we're off the mark. With, uh, I don't know, seven, maybe seven pound barbel. Which uh, is quite nice. Uh, seems to be a bit of a bit of a ongoing thing at the minute, where my first fish isn't actually what I'm after. <laughs> Only I knew it was a catfish. Here it's a uh, barbel. So I've got to say it's the first barbel I've caught out of running water. So on a lake, but 
we'll get the rods back out over because uh, John seems to think that if they come on the feed because they're the more difficult things to catch then there's always a chance for a carp afterwards because they seem to be feeding at the same time mm. so into the boat back over my spot here's the spot is, is the plan are you happy? no nope. Loosen the clutch off a little bit, a little bit, so you can walk with it so you can get into the boat. Ooh. And then come to the boat. Ooh, ooh, hang on, it's going. Keep that pressure on that rod. Is it worth trying to? No, it can't get over the top of it. So I had a run, well I say it was a run, there was action of some description and then uh, I couldn't reel it in so we got in the boat, got over the top of it um, but I think it must have been a snag, um, Tone tried to, to get it in by hand didn't you? Yeah we got over the top of the boat, over the top of the rig um, but she'd managed to get herself there, there is a big snag out there and we're fishing up against it basically because that's where the fish are coming in so yeah she's just got herself around that snag and uh, unfortunately lost the rig lost the lot so not ideal it not was definitely it was definitely on when we were over the top of it so so we've had three takes two losses so far not the greatest not the greatest at all but we will endeavor i think that's the word isn't it so you think um we're going to try and go down a size on hooks well there's quite a few koi in here so i think maybe not having such big, we'd be fishing size four hooks, so we're going to go down to size six. I don't like to go any lower than a six generally, but we shall see. I've just thrown a swivel on the floor, can't see it now for the love of money, not a chance. Right, um, but yes, that's where we are at at the moment. Tying some new rigs up, we're going to have a rebate in a little while. Oh. Teaching me a new rig. Teaching you a new rig. And going from there, really. Fishing out over, was it? Did you end up going on the, the gravel bar? Or? Yeah, I'm just short of the gravel bar. And what you got on what line, what rig? Uh, this is a blowback rig with actually one of the lake boilies on it. I think this rod is. I think, I don't know, I can't remember, but I'm sh sure she's coming in though. She's definitely coming in. Straight 
So what's happened? She's heading straight for that snag and got round it. Crafty. Yeah, definitely right round it. Oh. In. Yes. Yes. <laughs> right. 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 That's nice, all caught around that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know if she's a 20. <laughs> no! Yeah, they're laughing, yeah. 12 pounds. Really? 12? Oh, she gave a good scrap. Did she? Yeah. Uh, 30, well, 13 pounds. She's a nice fish though. Powerful. Mm. Really That's powerful. Right. If, I'd, if I'd have lost her, I'd have said she was five times bigger. Wouldn't she? You, you'd have definitely, and she knew where those snags were. She knew where every single Smart one. Little thing, she? It wasn't just one. Well, we now know for sure why all the bubbles are coming up from that spot. It's a snag, isn't it? They're still coming up now. Well, I've disturbed all the silt yeah. pulling that out, so. Yeah, I didn't feel massive, but I've said that before. So whereabouts are you fishing, Justine? This one is fishing right into the margin. Um, it's been out for a couple of days. We went out last night. And uh, did a scattering of bait over. Still got, I've got a lot of resistance, but I'm really hoping that she hasn't just taken me into a snag. A horrible feeling she has, which is the problem we've had on nearly every single fish we've brought in. Just going to keep pressure on for a minute. I have a feeling we'll be heading out in the boat. Uh, it's always sods law because it's just when you're about to dish your lunch up. So I'm just opening the clutch. I'm going to walk now towards the boat whilst keeping the pressure on. Sorry, Dad, I'm going to have to move you out the way and uh, probably ask you to turn the uh, cooker off. Yeah, done. In way. Oh, I don't know.
far. Disappointing the fishing. Um, had a few that have got away. Seem to be a lot of snags in the lake. Um, gone out with the boat to try and unhook them, get over the top of them, but um, just hasn't happened for us so far. So we'll persevere. Um, I think it looks like a different weather front's moving in, uh, which might bring with it some complications, but we'll see. Any of you that are of the observant kind will notice that <laughs> my eyes are slightly different colour today. Um, nothing to do with um, this one behind me. <laughs> oh, oh, don't that hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I um, fell in the shower yesterday and um, got a lovely shade of blue going on. I'm thinking I might go back to the 70s and apply a little bit of blue eye makeup later just to, you know, complete the whole look. But, you know, me being who I am, I'm, I'm going to, you know, carry on and I'm cooking a good old-fashioned English breakfast for the lads. I don't know why, but you know, it's the kind of girl I am. So we're kind of uh, halfway through the session. I, I'm sitting here now in my short, my shorts, my t-shirt and sunglasses. I mean, Darren, we're just having a bit of a conversation, saying, um, "I think I might have made a bit of a mistake because all that feels like the summer to me, or sort of late summer. To these fish, it's winter. It's December. So I think I've fished it how I would." A session a little bit earlier in the year. I've got time to change that now, and I, I, I will. But I do wonder whether if I'd fished it how I would a winter session in the UK, would I have done better? Not that I've done bad. I don't think I don't consider eleven bites a bad session at all. So, but I guess. Being the person I am, I'm always looking for that little bit more. If I'd have, if I'd have changed it that way, would would it, the circumstances be a little bit different? Um, but I guess that's another reason why it keeps me coming back carp angling after 35 years because there's always something to learn. And if you're honest, with you, what's a bad session? What's a good session? Yeah. You know, <laughs> Especially for me, because I don't fish the same waters all the time. I can't, I don't really get to judge whether I've had a good session or a bad. I can judge with other people on the lake at the time I'm fishing. Um, but because I don't fish one water for a year or say, mm. or a whole season, I've got nothing to compare to. If I was classing this as a winter session and I was sitting here and if I'd have landed 12 fish, I would be like, great, fantastic session. The fact that I've lost so many, that's been frustrating. But I think I've learned. By getting that fish in last night, um, that's filled me for, for the confidence that we're doing the right thing now. get out in the boat in time, I don't know, I don't know what's happened. Can't see, I need some glasses, two seconds sign up. Just took too long getting out there I think. Just couldn't get over the rod. By the time I'd wow, yeah, she'd already got herself got herself snagged into the snag, so <laughs> just don't know what <laughs> we found the right spots. But, um, no, it wasn't the same as one last night. This was the middle rod, so she's from just yeah. 
<laughs> I was on the live system. I don't know. I'm just getting so gutted now of losing fish. It's just ridiculous. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't know what more I can do. <laughs> Waiting 24 hours for a fucking bite and then you just can't. Can't go over the top of them. Right, so we've got a real scrap coming on here. Um, we've seen her. She's a beautiful linear mirror. And uh, she feels pretty heavy. Not massive, but she's fit, that's for sure. But she's uh, giving us a bit of a scrap here. Nice and close under the rod tip. That's why I love these grazed rods. They're so soft under the rod tip. Uh, this was on krill. Yeah, it's not massive, but you know what? I'll take it. And we're in. Right, we've got other lines for yeah. Amber. So, this is a little bit more. Wait, 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 wait. There you go. 27 and a half. 27 and a half. So, a beautiful 27 pound cup drama linear. Well deserved it. Whoa! <laughs> release that you uh, just put your head down and there you will go. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Happy with that, that's a, a nice one. Right, so we've just had a beautiful 27, 27 pound linear. Real, real scrappy, they do fight really well in here. They, they, it's almost like they stick to the bottom. If, you, you know, if I was fishing in France now, I think, oh balls, I've just cooked a catfish. <laughs> um, but yeah, she done a, Nice job on my rigs. She swam through the whole lot. <laughs> but rather that than uh, into the snags and for us to lose them. So, um, yeah, it was typical because Darren had just shot off for a shower. It's just, uh, <laughs> but I think you managed to get some of it on film. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, the guys have been round and gone through. Uh, everything with me. They are extremely cautious about their fish which is no bad thing. So yeah it's uh now it's just a case of setting back up, get our rigs back out over the spots and uh, go again. No, I wasn't. I was making you use your own thought process. It's the way in which you do it. If you was a primary school teacher trying to encourage young children to learn, you're not, that's a, not, you're not a child. I'm new, you're a fifty-year-old woman. I'm new to this, and you're supposed to be you're my not, teacher. You're not new to this. You've been doing it eighteen so, months on your own and fishing with me for fifteen. How have years. I been doing it on my own? No, you've seen me. Exactly, you've exactly. seen me say I've on been camera. Do, I'm taking the stabilizers. You are more than capable. You don't need me. You know, all you've I've just got. In fact, you've just proved. All I have to say to you is, if your your progression is into tuition, angling tuition, 
I would change your technique if I was Why? you. What did you? Because you're not encouraging. You're I am encouraging you though. You've just done it. You didn't need me. There was nothing that you have done that you didn't. Do you think do. your style is encouraging then to people that are trying well, you to, have to learn? Take, you have to take no, you're not answering. Sooner, right? you're, okay, I, I suggest for you. Right. Become a politician because you never answer with a straight answer. Well, firstly, I asked you for advice about placing it. Okay. So have you placed your rod where you wanted it? Well, I placed it in the general area that I wanted it. Okay. But you did offer some advice about it. Right, so I offered so I offered advice and you got your rod where you wanted it? Yeah. Right, tick. Okay. What else was there? Right, I asked you about bait, about what to put over the top of it. Right. So when you but, when you, but hang on, no, let me. So when you thought about it, you went to your ground, your your hook bait, smelt it, went that's sweet. Then went and chose a bait to go over the top that was sweet. Yeah, but I'm not. Did you know? No, no. Did you? Or did no. You not? No. Did you know? Answer the question. Don't ever well, I, it. Will, I will say <laughs> that's what I did. But what I'm saying to you is, I have no confidence in the fact that that was the right decision because you didn't offer any advice. You didn't go just if it was me. I would do a scattering of, of your, if, your mixed right, ground okay. bait and then I'd probably throw a handful of oily over the top. You did, you offered okay, no right, advice. Right, so I then asked you how many boilies you put over and you you chose not to tell me. I did, I told you a handful. Right, and then you not, said how many meant. is that? Well, it's a handful, I didn't count them Roughly. Originally. I don't know, well, 15, 20? 15 baits. It didn't sound like 15 baits going over, but you've got bubbles, come on. But you did everything right. If you were going, to, if you'd put a sweet bait out and then went over the yeah, top with fish, I would have stopped you and gone. Think about what you're doing. But you do, you, you do it in a piss taking no, way. No, I wasn't actually, at all. It, I was just, just making you use it your thought process. It drips confidence. It doesn't. It doesn't encourage confidence. But now I'm talking to you. Now after you've done it, you've placed your rod where you wanted it. You've done the right choices. The only choices. reason you're talking to me about it now is because no. you're trying to make a point. I'm not. I, well, I am, yeah, I am making a point. Is that you didn't need my advice. I did need you. You didn't. If I didn't need your advice, I wouldn't ask. But, I'd simply just do it. But you've done it. What you needed was a, a crutch to hold you. No, you did it. You've done it. You've placed it right. The only thing I might say is I might get a scoop of particle and put it over the top. That would be it. Done. And you did that all on your own. You've done your rig, you did everything. I haven't done anything. You're smug, do you know that? Well, because basically I'm smug because I've taught you and all the trips to get to this point, what to do. And you've done it. Good teacher, thank you. I really dislike you. Well, when I'm right, yeah, you do. No, when you're smug. <laughs> I'll be laughing on the other side of my face when you catch a 50 pounder in a minute though, won't I? Because I won't be able to go. So right yeah, will you? So I, I'm going to have to work on my smugness technique <laughs> if that happens, I tell you, because my god are you copying it. I'll be happy for you. Because, again, I've taught you well. I'm a winner winner. You're going to get smack in the face in a minute. <laughs> Violence is never the answer. It's not the answer, but sometimes makes you feel really good. <laughs> oh my god, am I going to have to put one of those those disclosure things on again where I say nobody was harmed in the <laughs> It's me again, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you do this to me. Take it off these. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, like when you get old. <laughs> <laughs> right, we've got to away from the snags now, and we've got to come up. I think she's massive. That's another barbell. Another barbell. Oh. 
Where was my last one? Remember? Hey Tom. These things are straight. Right, so we've got our second, second barbell of the trip, which, you know, it's quite nice to catch something a bit different. Now these are typically a river fish. And used to fast flowing water. But it's actually quite nice to uh, have something a bit different. Yeah, you know, perfect condition. She's got a bit of a growth there on a fin there, look. Really fit, strong fish. Certainly took off. She ran like a good one, didn't she? Oh, yeah. successful I, th I think I was under false illusion I hadn't really considered that the fact that the temperature is good here for us that it's still winter conditions for these carp so but we, we certainly got plenty of takes um, so we know we're fishing well which is nice to take on to the next trip we had a few nice fish not obviously as many as we hoped but still um what 15 takes 15 15 takes on a winter session most of us would be really happy with that i think yeah and a couple of 20s could have done with a few more on the bank yeah we could have yeah that we definitely <laughs> that goes without saying but, but it happens it is what it is i'll be, I'll be back i'll definitely like to come back give it another crack <laughs>